What if I told you there's a single skill that could completely change the way people see you? It can strengthen your relationships, boost your charisma, and make others genuinely want to be around you. This skill isn't something reserved for experts or therapists. It's something anyone can learn and use in everyday life. And by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to start applying it. It all began with a psychologist who transformed the world of therapy with a simple approach. Stick around and you'll not only learn about his method, but also how you can use it to enhance your own communication and connection with others. Meet Carl Rogers. Let me introduce you to Carl Rogers, one of the most influential psychologists of the 20th century. Born in 1902 in Chicago, Rogers had an early passion for learning. He could read by the age of five, but what really set him apart was his groundbreaking work in therapy. Instead of the traditional top-down approach, Rogers believed in something radical at the time. People have the power to understand and heal themselves when they feel genuinely heard and understood. This idea led him to create person-centered therapy, which focused on active listening, empathy, and creating a non-judgmental space. His methods weren't just revolutionary in therapy, they became essential tools for better communication in everyday life. The core concept, active listening. Active listening is more than just hearing words. It's about being fully present and truly understanding what the other person is trying to communicate. It means focusing on not just the content of their speech, but also the emotions behind it. Unlike passive listening, where we might be thinking of our next response, active listening requires giving your full attention to the speaker and responding in a way that shows you've really absorbed what they said. Most people think they're good listeners, but they're often just waiting for their turn to speak. Active listening is different because it prioritizes understanding over talking. When you actively listen, you're showing the speaker that their thoughts and feelings matter. And this simple shift in how you listen can completely change the way others interact with you, making them feel valued and understood. How active listening transformed my social skills. When I first started using active listening, I didn't realize how much it would change the way people interacted with me. At first it felt simple, just paying attention and responding thoughtfully. But what I didn't expect was the shift in how people opened up. Suddenly, conversations weren't just surface level. People shared more about themselves, things they wouldn't normally say. It was as if really listening gave them the confidence to be more honest and vulnerable. This deeper connection not only helped them feel heard, but it also gave me a clear understanding of what they were really feeling. The most surprising part? Active listening didn't just benefit them, it transformed my own communication skills. I became more empathetic and conversations felt more natural, not forced. It even made my friendships stronger because people could sense I was genuinely interested in what they had to say. Over time, I realized that by simply being present and engaged, I was building trust and making people feel valued, which is a key to better relationships. Three simple techniques to start using active listening. Active listening is about engaging with the speaker, not just hearing them. Here are three easy ways to get started. One, paraphrasing, restate what the other person says in your own words to show you understand. A quick, so you're saying, helps clarify and makes the speaker feel heard. Two, minimal encouragement. Simple actions like nodding or saying, I see, encourage the other person to keep talking. These subtle gestures show you're actively engaged without interrupting. Three, Emotion labeling. Acknowledge the emotions behind their words with phrases like, you seem excited, or that sounds tough. This shows empathy, even if you don't get it exactly right. By using these techniques, you'll create more meaningful and engaging conversations. The secret to genuine charisma. One of the most overlooked keys to charisma is simple, genuine interest. When you truly listen to someone, not just their words, but the emotions behind them, you create a powerful connection. People naturally gravitate toward those who make them feel seen and understood. This isn't about manipulating conversations or pretending to care. Real charisma comes from being fully present and engaged. Studies have shown that people who feel heard in conversations rate their interaction more positively and feel closer to the listener. It's this deeper connection that sets charismatic people apart. So if you want to boost your charisma, stop focusing on how to impress others and start focusing on understanding them. By practicing active listening, you'll naturally become the person others enjoy being around. And that's the real secret to charisma. Active listening goes beyond just hearing words. It helps you understand people on a deeper level. Next time you're in a conversation, focus on being fully present. You'll be surprised at the impact it has. If this was helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more tips on improving your social skills. Thanks for watching. For 